Hi everyone, in this video I'll explain the cumulative distribution function in continuous random variable. Okay, CDF, con uh, cumulative distribution function, which is, which is used to calculate the cumulative probability up to a given point x. In other words, it's equal to probability of x less than equal to x. Okay, this is a generic form for the cumulative distribution function. In case of discrete random variable, it's equal to summation all pi, okay, for x less than or equal x, for all the values less than x. This one in case of discrete random variable. However, in case of uh, continuous random variable, we replace the summation by the integration, okay, for ft dt between minus infinity and x, since it's all values less than x it means I go to it goes to minus infinity up to x okay so now uh, I'll explain it in this example let f is a PDF function probability density function equal to 1 for x between 0 and 1 and equal to 0 elsewhere okay it means for x less than 0 and x strictly greater than 1 f of x equal to 0 Okay, so how to calculate the cumulative distribution function for the probability density function f? As I said, by definition, f of x equal integration f t dt between minus infinity and x. Always I have to plot the x axis, okay, as shown here, minus infinity plus infinity. So the points that I have in here are 0 and 1, so I put 0 and I put 1. And now I have to replace or locate x in this axis. Okay, so as I shown here, x can be between minus infinity and zero. This one, case one, or x can be here between zero and one, or x can be here, okay, between one and plus infinity. So I have to find the value of x in these three cases. Okay. So therefore, as I said here, I have to solve the integration of x in the three cases. Case one, for x less than zero, it means x is he, okay? And this part of the interval minus infinity to zero, as I've shown here, less than zero, if f equal to zero, okay? I have it here, f equal to zero. And I put it here also. Then, therefore, f of x equal the integration ft dt equal to 0 equal to 0. Okay? And the second case, x between 0 and 1. So I have x here between 0 and 1. Okay? So I write again the formula fx from minus infinity to x. So if x between 0 and 1, okay, as shown here, I can divide the interval into two parts minus infinity zero okay this is one the first part and zero to x okay as i said before fx equal to zero therefore this part is equal to zero and the second part of the integration between zero and x so if x between zero and one so back to the uh, to the function I have f x between 0 and 1, f of x equal to 1. So I put here ft equal to 1, okay, between 0 and x, 1, dt. Integration of dt is equal to t between 0 and x equal x minus 0 equal to x, okay. And the third part, okay, the third case, x greater than 1 it means x is e, okay. So I can divide the interval from minus infinity. To x into three parts minus infinity 0 0 1 and 1 x minus infinity 0 0 1 1 x f is equal to 0 he f is equal to 0 he so I take them off and I have only the integration between 0 and 1 for ft which is equal t between 1 and 0 equal to 1 and this is okay uh, this is like what I have uh, you have to get it always okay when i have x in the in the part okay close to plus infinity 
So f of x is always equal to 1 because I do the sum for all the probabilities. And the total probability must equal to 1. Okay? Therefore, he, in third case, fx equal to 1. Okay, in this example, I have only two points, 0 and 1. I may have another example. For example, if someone uh, write fx equal, say for example, equal to 1 for x between 0 and 1. Okay, equal to 2 for x between 1 and 2. Equal for example, zero elsewhere. In this case, the x-axis minus inf uh, plus infinity minus infinity. I have to put all these three points: zero, one, two. Okay. So from minus infinity to plus infinity, I have one power one, two, three, four. Okay. So the integration a bit bigger than before okay so when i finish from calculating the values of fx in the three cases in this example i do a summary for the for all the results obtained okay so fx firstly it's equal to zero and x less than or equal to zero which is selected here okay it's equal to zero in case one okay and it's equal to x in case two and it's equal to 1 in case 3. Okay, I do the summary. 0, x, 1 in the following intervals. Okay, and this one now is f of x, which is equal to the cumulative probabilities for all values less than, than x. Okay, so now if I ask you to calculate the probability for any value, instead of writing the, the, uh, uh, the, fir the first formula you have in this chapter, the integration, so I can only replace the point or locate the point in which uh, interval he and find the corresponding its corresponding value. For example, if I ask you to calculate probability of x less than or equal to 0 0.8, if you don't know or if you didn't calculate the cumulative distribution function, you have to solve it using the original formula I gave you, which is minus infinity up to 0 0.8 fx dx. And you do the integration divided into same thing minus infinity zero one okay and solve it but now because we have okay the probability the, the cumulative distribution distribution function okay it's a bit easier to find the value of any probability I give you okay so now instead of doing this integration okay so just see for example 0 0.8 0 0.8 belongs to which interval here? Minus infinity 0? No. 1 plus infinity? No. 0 0.8 is between 0 and 1. So it's in this interval. So what is the value of f 0 0.8? Okay, in this example, it's 0 0.8 itself. Because fx equal to x. f 0 0.8 equal to 0 0.8. So it's, it's, like, it's simple to find it. So f 0 0.8 equal to 0 0.8. Okay. So I mentioned this C. So this one, I use the integration. Okay. If you don't have the cumulative distribution function. Okay. For example, if I ask you to find the probability of uh, x less than or equal to 3. It means f. 3. So 3 belongs to which interval? It's not between 0 and 1, and it is not between minus infinity and 0. It's here. Okay? 3 is between 1 and plus infinity. So f of 3 must equal to this value, must equal to 1. Okay? So it's equal to 1. Now I'll give you some properties okay, that I can use them immediately. Okay, for uh, cumulative distribution function. But first, I uh, want to mention that to verify for you, okay, that the cumulative distribution function, okay, if I make the derivative for it, I obtain the probability density function. Okay, and I did 
verify it here, I think. Yeah, I did the verification here. So this is the cumulative distribution function. If I do the derivative for it, okay, it means I have to find f prime x. Derivative of constant is equal to zero. I mean derivative of uh, f of x when uh, x less than zero, because f x equals zero, f prime is equal to zero. Derivative of constants also equal to zero. Derivative of x equal to one. So now I have 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. So for x less than 0 and x greater than 1, I have f prime x equal to 0. So I put them all in 1 as 1 in here. And equal to 1 for x between 0 and 1. For x between 0 and 1 equal to 1 and 0 elsewhere, which is f of x. So this one I can use it to verify your answer. For example, if I give you an exercise with a probability density function little f and ask you to find the cumulative distribution function f of x, okay, uh, uppercase, uh, when you find the answer for it, for example, as e, to make sure if your answer is correct or not, if you do the derivative for f of x and you obtain f of x, the probability density function, it means your work is correct. Okay, so this one is only for verification. Now back to the properties. Okay, so always f of minus infinity is equal to zero. Okay, always f of plus infinity is equal to one. All right, probability for x between any two values, if it's if there is equal or there's no equal, okay, it's the same. It's f of b minus f of a. For example, probability of x between 0 0.5 and minus 1, this a and this one is b, as I said, it's f of b minus f of a, f of b minus f of a, f 0 0.5 minus f minus 1, 0 0.5 is between 0 and 1, f of x equal x, f 0 0.5 equals 0 0.5, minus f of minus 1, minus 1 is between minus infinity and 0, where the value is 0, so 0 0.5 minus 0 equals 0 0.5. Okay, this one, same thing, uh, like probability of x less than or equal to 3, as I give it before. Now, since the cumulative distribution function is the probability for all values less than or equal, okay, probability of all values less than or equal to, less than or equal to 3, whatever, okay, if I give you a pro to find the probability for x greater than, so how to convert it to less than? It's 1 minus, okay? So if I have, uh, it's a rule, okay? If you have probability of x less than a, okay? It's 1 minus probability of x greater than or equal a. Same thing, if you have probability of x greater than a, it is 1 minus probability of x less than a. Okay, it's rule. All right? So now... A probability of x greater than 2, it's 1 minus probability of x less than or equal to 2. Since it is less than, so I can replace it by f, so it's f2. 2 is between 1 and plus infinity, probability of everything between uh, f for every value, for any value between 1 and plus infinity is equal to zero, uh, equal to 1. So it's 1 minus 1 equal to 0. Okay, so this one is the formula I mentioned here. When you have probability of x greater than, so you replace it, and I want to obtain less than, so you do 1 minus, like it's the complement, okay, or, or like the, the A and A bar, okay. So this one, how to verify. Okay, now I will end up this video with the, the function, how to plot it, okay. Since it's continuous random variable, it means all the lines must be connected, okay, because it's a continuous random variable, it's got a continuous function. As obtained before, f of x is equal to 0 f of x equal to 0 for x less than 1 for x less than 0 sorry okay so for x less than 0 okay it means from one to, from 0 to minus infinity i have f equal to 0 so let's see okay 
it's what it means it's uh, y equal to zero for x fx equal x for x between zero and one it's one here zero and one okay this line is x so for example you can put it how to plot it this one for x equal one okay y equal one x equal 1, y equal 1, it means e. for x equals 0, y equals 0, so it's e, so this is the line, okay, it's only between 0 and 1, okay, so I don't need to continue the line up there, so I, only, I need only the part between 0 and 1, okay, and for f of x equal constant 1, for x greater than 1 so for x greater than 1 y equal 1 okay this is how I plot the f x okay uh, note it has to be connected okay because it is a continuous okay continuous function okay so let's all I hope this in this video I cover the main points for a cumulative distribution function and how to calculate it step by step including these uh, properties thank you very much